This is episode three of Abandoned Lawnmower Revival. So I'm gonna go wash those two parts over there. But before we do that, I'm gonna take this seat off so that way I can wash it because it's full of bird crap and stuff like that. So let's get cracking. I don't have an actual wrench for this, so this'll do. I need to put some of that crap on it. I may take the battery out this episode just so that way I can get down to the uh, tray and see how bad it's rotted. Well, I had just finished washing Crunchy's parts and it started pouring rain. So yeah, that's nice. At least, I doubt it'll keep up. I don't think it's just gonna wet the ground a little bit. I don't think that mud hole's gonna fill up. Anyway, the lawnmower's looking a little bare over here. I put the air filter back on because it started raining. Yeah. Don't know what else I'm gonna do to it yet, but we'll see. All right, well, we're out here for the battery. I've got my safety glasses, rubber gloves, and everything else on, so. Let's get to taking this battery off so that way we can clean the tray and get it prepped for a new battery. I'm probably just going to steal the battery out of Frank because I don't feel like spending a hundred bucks on a battery unless I can get it like really cheap at Home Depot or someplace. At least it looks like the leads, I think, are good. Because we had to uh, fix the battery leads on the Ranger. And that was not fun. Alright, 
Let's get this battery out. Push those leads out of the way. Yeah, see? And Frank's is like three of these little things. It's just like these three straight pieces that just fall in. I like how this one is static. There's gotta be a way I can unbolt that to get to that main pulley though. Oh yeah, well, another step done for the mower that got crushed by the falling barn. All right, so since the first video, I got a star, so that way we can get these screws out. Let's see if I have a little bit smaller one. Come on, there we go, and reveal.